Hey guys, welcome back to Homebody Review. Uh, today we're going to be doing a review on our 2016 Samsung washer and dryer uh, units. Uh, we've had these guys for about uh, four years already. So uh, they still look great. We decided to get the black stainless steel, which is the finger fingerprint resistant models. So um, it stand up pretty pretty well. Have no um, have no uh, really big issues with it except for the dryer. So powering up the unit, you get a little chime. And so pretty much I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do a quick wash. Actually, I am going to do a normal wash, which is about 45 minutes. And you can see this screen, uh, this uh, button right here has lit up. And that's basically just telling you that you need to add some clothes into the wash cycle. As you can see, I already got some clothes inside the washing machine. It's a five cubic uh, feet of space in here, so it's uh, more than enough room. So I'm going to be doing, going to do a 45 minute wash and here you can change your temp, you can change the spin and the soil level so what I was going to go ahead and do is I already put in my I got my high efficiency detergent and uh, fabric softener so I'm just going to go ahead and close that up and we're going to start the process, you just press play and it's already good to go uh, for, for the most part guys the, the machine is pretty quiet, it doesn't make a lot of noise um, I do want to go over uh, features, so various features, um, pretty much as you can see the light just came on for the key, that means that this door is now locked. So you can't open this door anymore. If you forget, and like sometimes I do, you forget a sock or you forget something like that, uh, you can just simply come down here and just uh, uh, press this button and that'll, that'll pause your uh, machine so that you can put in um, whatever it is that you forgot. So you just gotta make sure after you do that, once you place it in, you just go ahead and resume the cycle wash so that it can go. So, coming back to the control panel, so here is your key. Again, if that lights up, the door is locked. This is your child lock here, underneath that. So you can see the, the light illuminated again. And this I already explained. This is going to be your smart control app. So this is if you guys have a Wi-Fi adapter for your unit, then you can go ahead and set that up. So you can control your washing machine uh, from your mobile app or your desktop just by using the Samsung app. This is your um, signal. Basically, just tells you guys that the sound. It will be off at the end of each cycle. If you don't want to hear the chime, then this um, little icon will light up, and so that sound would be off from there. Uh, this right here is your self clean icon or pure clean. Um, so, what that does is just pretty much sanitizes the unit, and that's over here on this side here self clean. So, if you press this button, this unit will be illuminated. So, that'll basically take your um, your washing machine into a, a cleaning cycle and um, just to help to remove all the bacteria or anything like that that builds up in your unit so uh, pretty much self-explanatory guys all the knobs here and all the pre um, settings from normal all the way down to activewear uh, 14 settings they're all preset um, to specific times but if you need more time uh, you can always come over to your unit and add a little extra spin a little extra rinse uh, or anything like that if you need. Features on the dryer again you got uh, a push the power unit here has a little chime when it comes on um, this has 14 preset settings as well for the knob so you can basically just come over here you, it goes all the way from normal to steam sanitize you also have some features on here too guys so if these are, are lit up uh, try to pay attention to um, to some of these icons. It's trying to tell you something. So if this one is lit up at the top, that's basically telling you that you haven't cleaned your lint screen in a while. So go ahead and take your lint screen out. And so once you open it up, 
Uh, the light drum, the LED light comes on and this is your lens screen right here. So you simply just remove this and just remove the, the lint from inside it. So that'll help to if you're having uh, problems with your clothes getting dry or not getting dry enough. So this right here, but this button right here is again your child lock for here as well. This one is basically your vent is clogged. Make sure you, uh, you double check that and make sure your vent is clear because that would be a problem if your clothes aren't getting dry enough too. So again, this is your smart app control or your smart app control. Again, this is where you would have your Wi-Fi adapter and it's basically on both your washer and dryer. So you basically need to go in here and install the Wi-Fi adapter so that you guys can control your washer and dryer from um, your mobile app. This little icon basically is just telling you that uh, if it's lit, the door, when you open at the end of the cycle, it will chime. It'll basically just let you know the cycle is complete. So if that light's illuminated, that will be off. And this right here, this little icon is your steam icon. Basically that just puts a little water on your clothes and stuff during the drying process to help to get those wrinkles out. So everything else is pretty much self-explanatory. So cleaning, cleaning the unit or remember, um, as far as for your filter screen, uh, this little touch button here, or just press this little touch button, it's much like a gas tank. So, this is where your um, filter screen is. Well, it's filtering everything on your screen. So, everything that's inside, you know, like change, um, napkins, you know, stuff like that, that'll end up here. So, you want to make sure that you uh, come down here and you change that out every now and again so it doesn't get gross and it doesn't get all obstructed with all kinds of stuff that you that of course we forgot to take out of our pockets uh, make sure that you are cleaning inside your unit and you run the cleaning cycle from time to time so afresh what you want to do is pretty much you'll basically take out one one of these pouches inside and or tablets toss that into the washing machine and you'd come on over here and you would hit uh, turn on your unit of course and then you would just dial over to sanitize and that'll basically be a two and a half hour cleaning process so just to kind of help to remove any type of bacteria or any type of uh, mildew buildup inside your unit and keep it clean um, right here we've uh, these are great space savers guys we just pretty much put some baskets on top so that we can kind of separate our clothes and we have a small laundry room too, so we um, needed to have some space saving ideas. So what we did is we got a collapsible hanging rack that basically just blends into the wall. I mean, that's uh, that's so cool. This is like the, the best pretty much uh, space saving option that we have for our washer, uh, for our pretty much our laundry room, guys. And you can see how that looks here. I have a few of my clothes hanging and it looks pretty awesome. All right, guys. So in closing, our um, 2016 Samsung washer and dryer units. This is our five, uh, my five year review for our models. They're still in very good shape. If you guys have these and um, you've had been experiencing problems with yours as well, especially your dryer, please let me know what those issues are. Um, if you're familiar with the squealing and screeching sound, Uh, let me know what you guys did in order to uh, correct that issue or um, if you had to take the dryer apart, whatever it is. Leave a comment in the comment box below. Let me know. Um, again, I'll leave all the links in the description as far as for the, the cleaning tablets uh, and everything else, especially the hanging rack for you guys as well too. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and smash that like button with your favorite pillow, guys. And I'll definitely meet you in the comment box below. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.